Hello and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be back into my computer and after that really good shimmer and shine marble race was an animation race and we are now back into my computer. We're back to the computer world with Windows NT 4.0. So my shimmer and shine marble race video didn't have subtitles but Maybe this one's gonna depend on subtitles. Even as well, the last video I produced yesterday, it didn't upload it to Chrome. For some reason, it, I had to do an opera. So, yeah, that's what I had to do. So, let's go on besides all those stuff. Let's get into Windows NT 4.0. So, for those of you guys who aren't aware, NT is what based it off, for example, on new technology. And this, it was means that Microsoft is trying to get off something called DOS. And they released the NT line for both the consumer line and even as well plus the business line, which was first back then, the business line was only. And then, yeah, they did release the NT line for both the business line and right now the consumer line. And yeah, that's how what time has changed. And yeah, once again, NT was released for the consumer line and business line. And that was Windows XP came in. And they, for Windows XP and newer, they released the NT line for both the consumer line as well as the business line once again. But before that, it was just the NT line of Windows was released for the business line only. And the 9X line was released for the consumer line only before they're all both into one line of NT operating system, starting with Windows XP. So here is Windows NT 4.0. Says with Microsoft Internet Explorer. It says Control Alt Delete, but for with VMware, I could do Control Alt Insert for a Control Alt Delete that I had Control Alt Delete on my main computer. So once again, Windows NT 4.0 is running in VMware, so it runs extremely fast. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be right back and turn the v VMware VMX volume up. Okay, so it's already there. We should be able to hear the startup sound. And let's go and get to Windows NT. It should be noted that the Windows NT shutdown sound sounds really similar to the startup sound at the end of this video. So as you can see, it looks exactly the same as in Windows 95. However, with Windows 95, after how successful Microsoft's new user interface was in Windows 95, decided to import it into Windows NT 4 as well. So as we get to start, once again, it's exactly the same as in Windows 95. However, under start you notice that unlike in Windows 95 is customized for businesses it still has the some of the exact same things as Windows 95 had it still has the MS-DOS command prompt but it's now the NT command prompt has first started to the consumer line Windows XP so it does nothing else besides that MS-DOS commands so, and even as well, we have the note, the word pad, it, it's where you type documents, but for businesses, they come, yeah, I think they have Microsoft Office installed instead of just using WordPad as their main document editing notepad. And we have the same notepad in modern versions of Windows, and Paint is just exactly the same as in Windows 95. Yep. And as you can see, we could get to the imaging. It says imaging for Windows NT instead of saying for Windows 95. The opposite's for NT. So, and as you can see, we could get to the uh, calculator. And this was used for something like math, but some businesses don't use a calculator for math back then 
itself, and as you can see, we're going to get to games. It does have the same games as in Windows 95. Hyper Terminal. Oh, yeah, the. Oh, I think this Hyper Terminal is based on the Windows 90. 2000, or not 95 video, the Windows 2000 video. That's what the hell it looks like. Uh. So, please enter one. Okay, blah blah blah. Uh, can like, get hyper terminal to close. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I'm back and got hyper terminal away with the uh, with the task manager. So, as you can see, we. We're now back into Windows NT. Alright, so since I just looked, I think everything. Oops. Windows Media Player could be upgraded to version 6. The current version is 12. So, and CD Player, once again, it's not included in modern versions of Windows anymore. Alright, time for Internet Explorer. This is supported until IE6, since I just, you guys saw it there. Yup, it's upgradable to IE6, which was released in 2001, and it's not supported anymore. This is just like in Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP. Okay, so as you can see, I'm back, because I was just doing something else. And as you can see, Outlook, and yeah, this is... Oh yeah, this is the Windows XP version of Outlook. As you can see. Outlook Express 6 is... Yeah, there's a little Windows XP logo. But that's the NT logo right there in the corner instead of the XP one. So, as you can see, the run command. Exactly the same modern versions of Windows. So... And as you can see, I think I pretty much showed you guys everything the Windows NT had. So, and the My Computer area. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, this is by default to browse in a single window. At least it is for me, by default. But if you switch it to the NT Explorer, as it says, then it has this whole sidebar. But I think. You couldn't disable the sidebar. Yeah. And then task manager. I think this is one of the first versions of Windows to have the task manager. This is. I think this is one of the first task managers. Yeah. It only has these two. No, not two. These three tabs. And a little menu bar there. And this is what's included in modern versions of Windows. Okay, so we're going to. Yeah, this is the recycling bin. Going to show you guys what the wallpapers are. They're exactly the same. Yeah, only patterns, no actual pictures. And screensavers. And I'll show you guys the most famous one in Windows NT4 The Maze. Oh, wow, it fits my screen resolution like this to my 1600 by 900 screen. So, yeah, this is my favorite screensaver. I wish I had kept this screensaver in Windows 10, but it won't let me to, unfortunately. Yep, exact same user interface. And this is, oh, that's interesting, Plus. So if you guys have never seen Plus before, it's used for an NT to Windows XP. So, and, yeah, I think I showed you guys everything Windows NT 4.0 had. So, is it usable in 2018? So, for Windows XP, which I did a video earlier this month, at the end of this month, I mean, the answer was yes. However, with Windows 95 and Windows 98, which I did a video earlier as well with those two operating systems, the answer was a big no. So, is Windows NT yes or no?
Well, first of all, absolutely no modern programs will run on any operating system below Windows XP. Yeah, but no. So what if you don't run any modern programs, you may ask? What if you just want to run legacy programs? So then, yeah, go ahead and use Windows NT. But if you really want to use modern stuff in, in, in anything else, it's only exclusively to the web browser. Well, once again, Windows NT supports up to IE6. However, IE6 is really primitive comparison nowadays. It's really insecure. Oh, look at this. Unlike in Windows 98, you can get to Google. Why would that be, my ask? I don't know. So, what do you want to... Fine, let's just go to another website. I'll be right back. Okay, so I typed in yahoo.com with the www dot in it, and it googled Yahoo for me in the address bar, since the search companion is not used anymore. Or it bings Yahoo, I think, to get to the website. <sighs> well, Bing is the only search engine that works in IE6. Let's see, uh, blah blah blah. Okay. Well, so the short answer is Internet Explorer isn't really usable in Windows NT 4.0 anymore. However, once again, you can also download an old version of Opera. This is Opera. Hmm. Come on. Maybe it's nice because there's. Oh, yeah, there's the Ubop button. There it is. Version 10.63. And this is version released in 2010. It's the latest version of Opera that could be supported on Windows NT 4.0, but it's the only web browser that supports Windows NT 4.0. So yeah, if you really want the internet of six years ago, well then Windows NT will work for you, but for most people, Windows NT will not work for you. So, it, is it usable in 2016? Not, not 2016. Is Windows NT 4.0 usable in 2018? The answer is no, unless you want to run legacy programs and only legacy programs. So, that was it for the entire operating system. Now let's go and shut down. I'll be right back to see if the shutdown thing is on. Okay, so the VMware VMX thing's on, for example, right here. Yeah, I made a thing right here because it's still working. So yeah, let's go and turn up the volume for better experience. Yep, the volume's all the way up. Now let's shut down. Listen for this shutdown sound, please. Now you know the shutdown sound sounds really similar to the startup sound because it literally is the startup sound, but reversed. Now if you try to play the startup sound backwards, it sounds like the shutdown sound and vice versa. I found it the other day and that was really cool. So as you can see guys, it's shutting down. And just like in Windows 95, it gives you its now state to turn off your computer message, but it's in a window. But then this is, was the only version of Windows I had to actually shut it down and it can simulate in VMware anyways, so let's go ahead and safely turn off my computer. And so that was Windows NT in 2018. So that was it and thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of mine. Thank you for watching everyone and peace out.